All right, awesome. This video here, I'm going to show you how to create a form super, super quickly inside the Go High Level software. This is really important because this is how you're going to capture client information. And now you, once you capture that information, you're going to be able to two-way text them. You're going to be able to email them. And, but basically you need the client information first in order to do that. So this is called a lead form. And you, what you're going to do is you're going to head over into your software. You're going to go to the sites tab and make sure you're on sites here. So you'll find that tab. If you're in settings for some reason, you'll, you'll X out of that and go to the sites tab. It should look like a side bar like this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add a form. I like to go start from scratch. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm just going to quickly show you how to create a form. And uh, basically this is a, a blank form. So what you can do is we can actually <clears throat> add a form element. So on the left-hand side, we can add a bunch of elements here. So let's say we want to add the form to have a first name, then we can drag over a last name, uh, probably a phone number we want to capture, and an email address. Uh, that's good. Let's say we want them to leave comments. Uh, we can also do that as well. Uh, so what you can do is you can go over here to the custom fields. I like to get a comments tab. So we've created one here, but you most likely are not going to have that. So what you're going to do is you're going to add a custom field and you're going to do a single line. And what you can do is make it a placeholder. We're going to go next. And the field name, we'll actually call this just for test purposes. Um, let's just say test comments and object contact. That's fine. And what we'll do is we'll hit save. Oh, we got to select the group. So just go contact and hit save. Now, perfect. So now we've got that test comments right here. I can drag that over. And now someone can leave a comment if they're filling out a form like, hey, I need your services. Uh, contact me ASAP, right? I love to have that um, on all of my forms in case someone, um, we just, we capture more information when we let people tell us <laughs> a little more information and it helps us uh, close them on the back end when we're having conversations with them. A lot of times people in our fitness business will say, hey, like I really need help, uh, you know, losing weight. Um, I really need help with uh, whatever it might be. I have type two diabetes, uh, please help me, right? They'll, they'll leave that in there and it gives us context going into a phone call uh, or an email or a text message. So a bit of a marketing hack there, but make sure you have a comments field. Um, I personally love that, um, especially in, in our fitness business. Uh, this will automatically come up. I confirm that I want to receive. You, you cannot change that now. That is important to have. I do recommend that you keep that uh, on all of your forms. Now, let's say you wanted to also have, um, you know, the phone number not mandatory. Like right here, there's a little asterisk here, uh, but you can actually just hide that. So if we click off required, now that is removed and the phone number is like an optional field for them, okay? I like to make it required because we wanna get their phone number so we can actually text clients and prospects on the back end. So I would recommend that you leave in, you know, phone number, email, um, <clears throat> last name I would probably put up here. So it'd be first name, last name. Um, you know, and I'd probably make these mandatory as well, at least one of them, because you're gonna to wanna to name as well. And uh, that should be good to go. Another little hack here that, that I use is uh, sometimes I like to label my forms as well. So what you can do here is let's just go back to the quick ad. And at the bottom here, there's a text option. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the text option at the front here. And in this right hand corner, you can label your form. So you can say like, you know, give them a call to action. Um, get started now right uh, and then what we can do is 100% I like this on my forms as well just a little extra trust 100% privacy uh, guaranteed or something like that you can put in there okay and then uh, that just looks a little too big for me so I would change the size to probably uh, you know maybe around 20 uh, that, that looks a little bit better and now you've got a form set up in your software, you can actually start using this form. You'll actually have a link to this form. So you can actually start using this on your social media channels. Like, hey, um, you know, I'm working with the next uh, five people uh, that, that wanna lose, you know, the next uh, 20 pounds uh, in the next, uh, you know, 60 days. Uh, use my form here, sign up. So you can, you can do that. You know, you can use your form in so many different ways. 
but this is one way you're going to go ahead and create a form inside of Go High Level. And hopefully you found this video, val video valuable. And we'll see you on the other side.